workout buddies. I have a 10 minute workout for you today that's all about feeling energized. So I would ideally love for you to do this in the morning before you start your day. And there's gonna be 10 different moves, 45 seconds of each move with a 15 second rest in between. But during that rest, I want you to be stretching or still moving and doing whatever feels good for you in between each of the moves that I'm gonna show you. Okay, so we're gonna start off with the first move I'm gonna show you. It's gonna be just hamstring curls. You're gonna squeeze your elbows back as you alternate shifting your weight. Your legs come back, you're squeezing those elbows back, and if you have it in you, I want you to give me butt kicks. So you have a choice here, either hamstring curls here, you could even add a little hop, or straight up butt kicks, really nice and simple here, and you can even take nice deep breaths, set your intention to show up with your best effort for the next 10 minutes ahead, because remember, it's a short workout, so you need to give it your all to reap the benefits of releasing those endorphins and making this time count. I don't believe in really long hard workouts. I used to, not anymore. I'm busy, I want quick, I want efficiency. I wanna get my workout in and done so that I can show up for the rest of my day feeling my best, right? So we're in a rest period, so you could tap your feet side to side or you could stretch. I'm gonna inhale, I'm gonna to touch my toes. I always enjoy this stretch, just reaching for my toes, and then roll up nice and slow. Next move, arms in, core is in, four kicks. One, two, three, four. Jump your feet out, get low, jab. One, two, three, four, hop back in. One, two, three, four, front kicks, hop out, jab it out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, back in. So four kicks, eight counts of jabs. And then hop it back in. So go at your own pace here. If you could keep up with me, that's great. If you need to go slower, go slower. All I care is that you give your best effort. Last round of jabs, six, seven, eight. Jump it back in, inhale, exhale, fold forward. Roll it up nice and slow. Let's roll those shoulders back. Just keep moving. You could sway those hips a little. Breathe in and out. Next move. I'm going to come to the end of my mat. I'm going to shuffle, touch down, reach up. Shuffle, down, up. I'm going to add a little hop. If you could add a hop, try that. Down, up. So in my head, I'm saying shuffle, shuffle, Touch down, hop up. So these combo moves, I really love because they get my brain having to think. And then before I know it, the 45 seconds is up. Because I was focused on just doing the move. So for me, it's a little more fun and it makes the workout go super fast. Down and up. Down, all right and shake it off, you could get that heart rate down before we bring it back up again. All right, next move, I'm gonna show you and then you join me when you hear my timer. Two jumping jacks, followed by two front kicks. Modified, one, two, three, four, one, two. One, two, three, four, one, two. Right. One, Two, three, four. I'm gonna show you that modified version again. I'm just tapping out my foot. And then I still add those two front kicks. I don't care what leg you start with with those front kicks. It doesn't matter. Oh, I added an extra front kick, it's okay. One, two, one, two, three, four, and then two front kicks. All right, and shake it off. Sometimes I add extra <laughs> reps in there, but it doesn't matter because this is all for fun. It's all about just getting your heart rate up and getting in a good workout. So even if you alter the moves, that's cool too. Okay, we're getting in toward planks. Inhale up, exhale, fold forward. Walk it out to a high plank hold. Can you bring your right knee in and then bring it back? Your left knee in, bring it back, and then give me two plank jacks. So out. In, out, in, right, left, out, in, out. Let's reverse it. Left, right, out, in, out, in, right, left, out, in, out, in, left, right, out, in, 
out and keep it up. Keep that core in. Keep those shoulders over your wrists. If this is too much, you can always modify. You can always just hold a high plank. You can bring your knees down and hold a plank like this. Do what is challenging enough for you, but also listen to your body, okay? You can modify these moves however you need to. But let's come back up into a high plank. Let's walk our hands towards our toes. Roll it up. And let's just do some simple jump rope. So I'm gonna bring my arms around. I'm alternating my heels. So here, this is really low impact. This is cool. Or you could add a hop in between. Or you could bring those feet together and do this. It's just like you have a jump rope in your hands going around and around. Core's in, release the tension in your shoulders. You could even hop a little side to side. Do whatever you want, have fun with this. Good, keep breathing. Always take a moment to fill up with gratitude to it. Some point during your workout, just check in with yourself and be like, oh, like I get to do this. Like I am so blessed for my health and my body and being able to work out and show up today. Don't take it for granted, okay? We're gonna go into that next move. I love this one too. So we're gonna sink into our chair pose. So sit back, we're in chair, just like if you take yoga, but I'm gonna show you. You're gonna bring your hands to the ground. You're gonna straighten your legs. You're gonna sit back into that chair. You're gonna bring your arms back and then go swoosh and bring them up. And then bring them back, swoosh, bring them up. So you have a choice. You could touch the floor and bring them back or you can just sweep them on back. Go as slow as you would like to go or you can really pick up the pace. And if you're feeling extra energized today, how about you add a little hop? All right, so it's up to you, but I'm just warning you, the next move is intense. <laughs> Go ahead and then breathe. So the next move is a burpee challenge, okay? I'm gonna show you and start off with a modified gentle version, but if you want to add the hops, add the push-ups, do whatever is challenging for you. So burpees typically look like this, but watch, you could step in, stand up, touch down, step back out, step back in. So I'm showing you this modified, nice gentle version. And if this is too much for whatever reason, you can always just march in place and you can do whatever you want for the next 45 seconds. I just wanna get that heart rate up nice and high and for you to really challenge yourself. Watch, you could also add a push up and add a hop. So that's up to you. And you could do a variation. Maybe you do some modified versions and then you throw in some of the more intense versions of a burpee. So you do what's best for you. All I ask is that you make sure that you challenge yourself and that you keep safe. So I don't want you getting hurt. This is about feeling your best, right? Now, the next move, bring your feet apart, your core's in. I want you to touch down a little side lunge here, sinking back into your heels, squeezing that opposite elbow back, and then you're gonna shift your weight to the other side. And I try to show you just different angles of the move so you can make sure that your form is correct. Good. So just getting into all that different, the different angles of your legs and your arms. And let's add a little step reach here. So now I'm just gonna reach side to side in that side lunge. Core's in, breathing, smile on my face. Good. And then we get to do our last move right now. Okay, so this is gonna double as a stretch and strengthening. And you know what, it's gonna triple because it's gonna keep your heart rate up, so it's like cardio too. So come back into that high lunge. Step your left foot in between your hands. With your torso, lift your body up. Breathe, plant your hands back down. Step back into high plank and then step your right foot forward. Using your torso, lift your upper body up. Using it, control, slowly lower it down and step back. And then just keep alternating, enjoying that lunge and the stretch in between. Holding that plank for a second, breathe and just be so proud of yourself. You did it. You're at the end.
end of this 10 minute workout, you didn't have to leave your house, you didn't have to spend any more time than just watching and doing this video to get in an amazing, awesome, energizing workout. And that's what it's all about, to make it quick and easy so that you could go on with the rest of your day feeling your best and unleashing that determination and confidence and gratitude that I hope that a workout instills in you every time that you do it. Okay, so have a great day and make sure you sign up for my email newsletter. Go to my website, I'm coming out with new programs and new workouts, so stay connected with me. I take requests, leave a comment, give me a like, and let's 